Good morning guys, today we are going to apply APCS 1B paint system using airless paint machine. An airless spray relies on hydraulic pressure rather than air atomization to produce the desired spray. An air compressor or electric motor is used to operate a pump to produce a pressure of 1000 to 6000 psi. In airless sprayer, paint is delivered to a spray gun at a pressure through a single hose within the gun. A motorized pump to pressurize and pre push the paint out of the spray gun tip. The high pressure build up within the tube atomizes the paint meaning that is pulled apart fine mist. This creates a smooth finish within the minimum amount of paint. Airless spray usually is faster, cleaner and more economical and easier to use than conventional air spray. Airless spray equipment is mounted on wheels and paint is aspirated in a hose that sucks the paint from the paint drums. The unit shall have inbuilt agitator that keep the paint uniformly mixed during the spraying. The unit shall consist of inbuilt strainers. Usually very small quantities of thinnings are required before spray. In case of high build epoxy coating, 2800 to 3500 psi nozzle pressures and 0.018 to 0.021 inch tip size will provide a good spray pattern. Ideally, fluid hoses should not be less than 3 by 8 inch diameter and not longer than 50 feet to obtain optimum result. In case of gun choking, Dechoking steps shall be followed immediately. If the paint is not spraying evenly and thickly, it's a good sign you need to increase the pressure. There should be a dial on your airless sprayer to control. With this, we can increase or decrease the pressure. Unnecessarily high pressure wear out the sprayer faster. You should keep your sprayer between 10 to 12 inches away from the surface you are painting. This will make it close enough to apply effectively, but far enough away to cover the good range of surface. If you hold down the trigger in one place for too long, you will run risk of spray and dripping. To avoid this issue, Make sure your hand is always moving over the surface you are painting. Make sure that speed you are moving at it relatively consistent. You want to make sure your paint job look even throughout. When you are done a certain round of painting, simply release the trigger to stop the painting. You should account for the split second between the time you release the trigger and the point paint will stop being applied at.